Okay, now let's look at the curve function. The curve function is, is a simple, you know, y equals dx squared. So it gives you a very nice curve like that. You can have x cubed, x, x to the power of 4. It changes the shape of the curve. Once again, this, the shape is really dependent on what you, want to, what you want to achieve in your project. So if you zoom in a little, I can, I can make the curve better, fat like this, or thinner. So it, it tends towards more of the, the middle x, the, the y-axis. Or I can make it fatter and broader, so it's a bit more gentle. And if we zoom in into a bit more about what happens to the relationship between you know, 0 and 3,000 tokens, then you can see it's a, it's a gentle upward sloping curve. At first, the curve is... Let's, let me remove the rest of the curve. At first, the curve is quite gentle. You see, you see the increase is it's a bit less. So from from zero to one thousand, I have I, the price increased by two hundred. From but from zero to two thousand, the price is now eight hundred. So the increase is quite different. And as you go higher and higher, it becomes more steeper and steeper. So what does this mean? The shape of this curve means that if you have tokens at the start. It doesn't appreciate as fast and then as more and more tokens come into the place to to your ecosystem the price increases like crazy exponentially so that's that's what this curve suggests so what does it mean in terms of incentives it means that when people have tokens you know as the first 3,000 token holder then they don't want to sell it because they know that by asking more people to join the prices will increase a lot more and that's where they can gather profits out of tokens so you this this is a way to embed your your incentive because you want people instead of telling them you have to stake you give them the choice you tell them that if you stake you will get a lot more increase in rewards because it's an exponential increase at the end right that means right now if right now when you are at 3,000 people having four people coming in or having four extra tokens hold token holder or tokens being minted doesn't increase much in your price but when you are at you know 10,000 tokens and having four people for tokens being minted, the price will increase tremendously. So that's that's one of the incentives involved. But the, the bad thing is that, you know, when, when it gets too exponential at the end, that people will start dumping and start selling, and now the prices will drop like crazy again and going back to, to the, the, the start. So that's not what you want to do because you want to create some form of stability in your tokens, in your token pricing. You don't want people to be manipulating. You don't want pump and dump. So this... This token model could probably work in a more short term. So we're looking at you know a more a more um, short term period of three maybe within the the first smaller quadrant, so that you don't go towards the exponential way and people get get hurt by it. Of course, you can always change the shape of the function by add, adding more math involved, and you can kind of um, level it up at, towards the end so that your shape of the curve changes. But we're not going to talk about that today because that's going to be too complicated. And yeah, you can change the how how curvy the curve how curvy the curve is, the gradient of the curve. 